Welcome to Your Wine Cellar. I'm Julian. I'm David. Apparently we're so famous now that after last week's videos people got confused when we sat on opposite sides from each other. So we'll confuse them again. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Look, all of our wines this week are from South Africa. Um, to go with the theme, we've got some lovely cushions here in, <laughs> in Julian's house. A nice leopard and giraffe. And we thought we'd choose South African wines because we're both cricket fans and um, we're celebrating the fact that South Africa lost to England in the recent Test Series. Yeah, so whilst they're not very good at cricket, we're hoping they're still pretty good at making wine. Yes, so we've got three bottles from Sainsbury's uh, that we'll try. Um, two end of the month bargains and one, yeah. it's not pricey, but it's, they're, they're all under 12 quid, but maybe a little bit more expensive than yeah. the yeah. So what have we got first up, Julian? Yeah, this is a Chenin Blanc from Stellenbosch, just outside Cape Town in the Western Cape. Uh, very Mediterranean climate, so long dry summers and wet cool winters. Mm -hmm. Definitely some pineapple on the nose, a um, bit of lime coming through, quite zesty. Yeah, absolutely. I think pineapple 100%, it, it's, it's, it's fresh. Let's have a taste. Yeah, that lime really coming through. It's much sweeter. Yeah, I'd say a bit of a sort of key lime pie type flavour, something like that. I'm definitely getting a bit of pear as well coming through. So. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you were to be eating whilst you're drinking, I mean, all of these wines, they are perfectly drinkable on their own. I'd say, you know, something like chicken fajitas. Um, it's got a certain amount of sweetness to it, so it can cut through a bit more of a spicy flavour. Okay. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Second is a Pinotage. Not a great variety that necessarily I'd actually had all that often. No, this is a hybrid grape actually invented in South Africa, uh, for want of a better expression. Uh, With a name like Pinotage, I'm assuming it's got some Pinot Noir in there. It is. It's, it's a combination of Pinot Noir and Sanso. Um, Effectively, it was developed so that it could fight off disease right. in the 1920s. It's not been a particularly popular grape over the years, but it has had a bit of a resurgence over the last sort of four or five years. And it's the second wine to come from Stellenbosch. Correct. Yeah. So, similar climate. Well, same climate. <laughs> same <laughs> climate, yeah, same climate. I think it's just uh, down the road from yes. the other bit. <laughs> Interestingly enough, Tottenham has the same climate as Wolfenstein. <laughs> Uh, getting red fruit, so raspberry, strawberry, yeah. cherries. Absolutely. Lots of red berries and fruit, 100%. A bit like strawberry jam, maybe? Like yeah, you can kind of imagine it being kind of stewed fruits. What about the taste? Oh yeah, it's like that comforting flavour of apple and blackberry crumble. Mm. Um, again, a little bit sweet around the edges. Some yeah. tannin. It doesn't uh, really have the spice of a, you know, it doesn't have the cinnamon or the spice of a crumble necessarily, but it's got that kind of stewed fruit, like a, something jammy kind of. Thing. Yeah, the, the cherry comes through as well on the taste. A hint of pepper, maybe. But it's a lot lighter than you'd expect. Yeah, so a very dark looking wine. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, certainly tastes a lot lighter than mm. it looks. It would be dangerously drinkable. Yeah, and a six quid a bottle, why shouldn't it be? <laughs> <laughs> End of the night, you've got your friends round, dark chocolates, wine. Yeah. Generally, I'll fall asleep by about 10 30. Quite good for that. Myself. Quite good for sitting at home, watching a movie, munching on some chocolate, drinking a little bit of wine. Do you realise in this series we're really purporting a healthy lifestyle? Absolutely. <laughs> Sitting get, home. get that get that damn chocolate, that 70% stuff, you know, it's, it's all good for you. <laughs> anyway, cheers. Cheers. Right, what have we got third? So third we've got a Syrah, yeah. also from Stellenbosch. Yes. Tell us a bit more about this one there. Puts me on the spot. It's a 2015, so I'll start by telling you that it's 2015, which in South Africa was a hot dry year and was well known for making some exceptional wines. So. Uh, it would be very interesting to see what this one actually tastes like. Um, our first two wines were 
your end of the month bargain. So six pounds for the pinotage and our Chenin Blanc in white is only 7.25. This is a little bit more expensive. We're looking at um, 11 pounds 99? 11.50. 11.50. So a tiny bit more expensive, but still under that 12 quid mark. Um, likely to be a little bit more robust than my last one. I'd be interested to see what you pick up. Yeah, it's a lot of pepper in the nose. Black and white. Yeah, definitely black and white pepper. A certain amount of herbs coming through there. It's a spicy one. Yeah. It, it, it smells spicy and I know that's kind of hard to say, but it, it does in a way. But yeah, yeah. I, suppose, I suppose when we say it's a spicy one, it's kind of, there's herbs and there's, there's more, there's fruit in there, absolutely. There's, there's, there's black cherry. Yeah. Um, but there's there's a real kind of you know if you're making a coco van, right? And you put that little sack of herbs into the side. Sure, it's like that. Yeah. A little bit smoky as well. So yeah, black fruit, black currant, mm. black cherry. Um, again, spicy on the taste, very peppery going through. Mm -hmm. um, Makes your tongue tingle a little bit. It's rounder than the pinotage. What would you say on the on the food front if you're picking up out? This is something that you you know, a nice meat and veg, quite a traditional kind of wine to me. It's 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 distinctly new world. Yeah. It hasn't got you know, it's it's got the fruit that you're looking for, but if you're eating lamb or something along those lines, it would lamb be shank? Something. Yeah, lamb shank would be a good shout. I think something that's been cooked for a long time, no, kind of falling off the... An Irish stew? That's quite specific. <laughs> yeah, but something that's falling off the bones a little bit. Yeah. Mushroom lasagna. Mushroom lasagna? No. I know it doesn't sound right, but vegetarian stew. Still with garlic sausages. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Right, so we've had um, our Chenin Blanc, which... Um, is from the Stellan Rust uh, wine estate. Um, the Pinotage from 1915. From <laughs> 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 Rip, <break> the <laughs> The Pinotage from 2015. And um, our Syrah from uh, the Bernard series, also 2015, which, as we said, a great year for South African wines. So, all three at Sainsbury's. All three ridiculously affordable. Um, six pounds, seven pounds twenty-five, and eleven pounds fifty. I think we've proven that South Africa is still producing some very good wine. Even they're still good at something, even though they're not producing very. Yeah, good it's not rugby, um, but wine, yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, and yeah, um, as we said, wine for all. Enjoy the wines, and hopefully, uh, tune in next week. We'll be on YouTube. There is a Twitter account, but. It'll also Instagram so please tell us what you think yes and invite us to Romania if someone already has if you're willing to pay for the flights even better or at least send us some wine over yes <laughs> cheers cheers <laughs>